How's it going everybody? ZDS here and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the application PK Hex with the Generation 8 game Pokemon Sword. So, first thing right off the bat, you're going to need to get uh, the download for PK Hex. I will leave the link to the PK Hex page down in the description. You can go ahead and click that and go ahead and retrieve the file for yourself. Along with that, of course, you're also going to need a file of Pokemon Sword, which I ripped mine off of a physical cartridge using my Switch. Yeah, I cannot show you where to get them. Just go ahead and Google search it and you can figure it out for yourself. So, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead into Pokemon Sword to show you actually what I have presently. I'm using Ryujinx emulator this time instead of Yuzu from my previous videos. Uh, because I happen, I happen to have some better luck on occasion when it comes to Ryujinx as opposed to uh, Yuzu when it comes to certain games. In particular, Metroid Dread, which I'll show that maybe in another video. This might take a second, because Ryujinx does have an issue with, not taking, with taking quite a bit of time to actually boot up. So, give it just a sec. Okay. That actually took another minute or so, so I just went ahead and uh, cut it out of the video. All right, so let's go ahead into my PC to show you what I've got here. So you can see I've already done some PK hexing in this game already. This is my most recent file of Pokemon Sword for my emulator, so. I've got all of these guys, all shiny. So, I've also got all these guys shiny. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, since I just go ahead and you know showed you guys what I got, uh, let me go to my items, because I've also already done that too. But I'll go ahead and show some differences later. It's really easy to peek hex the game, so. Alright. So that's kind of the generic, like, what is in my inventory. So let's go ahead and just stop the emulation. And this works the same way with Ryujinx as it does with Yuzu. So you're going to right-click the game in question. Go to, in this case, User Save Directory. And this will bring up the actual folder uh, in your computer where the game is saved. You're going to go over to the main file. And in this case, we can just go ahead and drag and drop directly onto PKX. And as you can see, we have the file right here. So, first things first. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and add... A brand new Pokemon. Let's just go with. Yeah, let's just go with Calyrex, actually. So for Calyrex. Alright. So give me a, give me a second here, guys. I'm just gonna try to get used to the situation again. Okay. So a couple of things right off the bat. See we have Calyrex here. We can make the Pokemon shiny. We can re-roll the ID, which will just give a random new ID. Uh, we can press if you click in between the EXP and the level. It'll come up with a prompt that shows the recommended uh, location and level for the Pokemon to be at. So you click yes. This is good to know for if you want to keep them actually co uh, consistent with the, uh, uh, like basically make them legal. So you'll also want to change, in this case, both the nature and the stat nature. <clears throat> I can also change the forms, but I'm going to keep it as just normal form here. I can give it any held item I want. In this case, I'm going to go with the Lucky Egg, which is typically what I do with most Pokemon that I get. You can increase the friendship just by pressing friendship on the left-hand side. And you can change the ability if the Pokemon has more than one. Over at the Mech tab, this is where it'll actually show where the, the game is from. I'm going to go ahead and select Battle version as Sword. It doesn't really matter, though. You can also select through all of these different locations, every single location that is available in the game to show a Pokemon's location where it was met at is there. You can change the Pokeball, although for Pokemon with an egg, which I'll show in a minute, it's better to just keep it as Pokeball. Change the met level, the met date, faithful encounter, if the Pokemon is an event Pokemon, and then as egg, which again, I will show the case in a moment. Then over here in the stats, I'm just going to go ahead and give it 31 in every single IV because there is no such, there is no, uh, poke, there's no PK, uh, hidden power, sorry, in this game. I'll also give it max special attack and speed since that's the preferred for me, myself. You can also increase its Dynamax level to 10. 
You can go ahead and alter uh, all of these contest stats to 255, although there is no contest in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so I don't think that actually has to do with anything. Over here, you'll see Gigantamax. Do not click that unless the Pokemon has a Gigantamax form. Like, for example, uh, not Dottler, but uh, it's Evolution, which I can't remember off the top of my head. It has a uh, Gigantamax form, as does Inteleon, as does uh, Corviknight. Calyrex, however, does not. Uh, you can also just select random IVs and EVs. I don't ever do that because it's kind of dumb. So we'll actually go over here to the move set here. And if you want to just give it a random, you can click between the PP and the number of the move itself, and it'll apply suggested moves. In this case, Hyper Beam, Imprison, Bullet Seed, and Wonder Room. And if we click it again, it should give us something different. Solar Beam, Payday, Giga Drain, and Solar Beam. So actually, what we're going to do, uh, we are going to go with Psychic, because it's one of the best moves for it. We're going to go with Energy Ball for its other stab. Go back up, and we are going to go with Draining Kiss, and if you'll give me just a moment, I'm going to go check on Cerebi for other moves that it has. Okay, and for its last move, I'm going to give it access to Pollen Puff. Now you'll see here, Pollen Puff is not actually a move on the list here. Now what it is, is that Pollen Puff is a technical record rather than a technical machine. So it's the one that has the limited usage. So to compensate for that, you'll need to go to the relearn moves, or rather not the relearn moves, sorry, the technical records, and you're going to scroll down and look for Pollen Puff. Now the Pollen Puff TM is, or TR is technical record 96, so we'll click that, right there, click save, and then that'll make that legal again. We'll go ahead and click the PP ups there. And now we'll go ahead and paste here. Now, of course, we do have, it is a shiny. So stat mass, mismatch, ability, mismatch for encounter type, battle version, it's not within the expected range, contest stats should be zero. Those are all things that I can fix. It's not, it is a shiny log Pokemon, so you can't actually have it shiny. Now it says static encounter shiny mismatch. So we'll revert it to not being shiny. Ability mismatch for encounter. So we'll switch it to that. Or maybe it's the third one. Nope. I don't know what that's about then. That's something I don't really understand there. Ah, there we go. Battle version is not within expected range. That I don't quite know what that means. But either way. So we have our shiny one, and I'll just keep that there instead. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just give a quick way to show for uh, a Pokemon that needs to be, uh, that is from an egg. So in this case, let's just go ahead with uh, Charmander. Just an interesting Pokemon I like to use for these type of things. We're going to give it a, actually no, we're going to give it a modest nature. Max its friendship, give it solar power, make sure its IVs are all at max. I'm going to keep its stats uh, normal. Uh, and then we're going to go to Met. We're going to make it as egg. And we're going to select it to being an egg right there. And then we'll go over to its moves. And in this case, we'll just go ahead and select uh, Flamethrower. Um, actually, we'll just have Flamethrower. We don't need the others right now. So we'll go with none on the other two moves. Apologies if you can hear a cat meowing in the background. It's my kitty. He's being very noisy. And we'll select technical records there. Save. That's not really going to make a difference, though. But then we'll go ahead and just go ahead and right-click and click Set. So it is an egg, so we'll have to hatch it. But we'll go to Save. Now, this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys. So we have over here a bunch of different uh, things we can mess with. Block data, I never adjust. 
I don't really know what it is. I'm not really versed in that type of thing. Same with uh, box layout, though. Mm. You can change the wallpaper of any of the boxes to whatever you know wallpaper you want. I usually don't mess with this because it's kind of dumb. Uh, over in the items category, though, we can go ahead and we can change and add any item from the game that we want. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and add... Uh, let's... Actually, not here. Let's go ahead to Pokeballs. I'm going to change the Pokeballs over here to something that we normally can't get. At least not in Max. And I'll just go with Luxury Ball. Uncheck that new icon. Over here with uh, Battle Items, we can give Max of all these. So I'll go ahead and give Max of all of the Battle Items. Berries, I already have Max of all those. Medicine Items. See, we have rare candies over here. I'm going to change this number to 999. And then over here with the TMs, we already have everything here. We have all max te technical records as well. Uh, these are the treasure items. So you can add treasure items of whatever you want. You can also add the fossilized dino, drake, bird, and fish for the fossil Pokemon in the game. Then we have all the food items. And then finally the key items, which I never mess with for obvious reasons, because if you do so, it can actually break story progression. Next, we'll go over here to Pokedex. And as you can see, there's a lot that's not checked here. Now, I could go ahead and do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go ahead to Modify. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on Complete Decks. Click Save. And that will give us uh, the evidence of everything in the Pokedex, I believe. So let's go to caught all as well and save that. Now we'll go over here to trainer info. Here we can increase our money, which I'm gonna go ahead and give myself max money. We can increase our watts, which I'll give myself max watts. We can increase or decrease the time. Uh, we can change the single or double battle to the battle tower if we so desire. And our team, I don't know what this means, so I tend to leave it alone as well and just click save to make sure it's all good. The raid DLC thing, I don't know how to mess with. I just leave that alone for all three of the raid options. But if anybody knows how to do it, please go ahead and let me know in the comments because I have no freaking clue. But I think we'll just do one more quick uh, Pokemon just to show how quickly this can actually be done. So for this, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Damn it, I can't type for shit today. Alright, max PP. Make sure that it shows that it has Shadow Ball. Not Flamethrower, it can't learn Flamethrower. Thunderbolt. And Psy Shock should be a little further down. Not that far. There it is. Save. Select that. And go ahead and set. Invalid expected. Oh, that's right. Let's unselect that and then do the paste. Wait, hold on. Do that. There we go. Then select set, but it's still giving me the red arrow. So we'll go back here. We'll select that again. Still give me the red check mark. Invalid PID mismatch. Whatever. I don't know how to fix that, so let's just go with that instead. All right, now let's just go to export save over here now to export main. 
It'll select the file you chose the file from. Go ahead and click Save. It will overwrite the current main file. Click OK. And now let's go ahead and boot up Pokemon Sword again. PC. And there is our Calyrex. A shiny Calyrex. With its move set there. Whoops. I think I may have messed up the egg. But I'll go ahead and swap that egg in. And then you can see the Gardevoir there. So I'm just gonna rotate in a minute, in a second here and just try to hatch the egg, so give me just a moment. All right, hatching the egg. And there we go, a shiny Charmander. The fancy shiny. So we'll go back over to it. Check summary. And there we have a shiny Charmander. Level is wrong, of course, but that's because I didn't edit that correctly. But anyway, guys, I hope that ex uh, explains any or answers any of your questions regarding PK Hex. I apologize that I can't get into a lot of the more nitty-gritty stuff regarding the PID or the, um, whoops, or uh, all of, like, like this type of stuff. I just don't know that stuff, and I'd rather not break my game if I don't have to. But I'm sure there's other tutorials out there that you can watch to go ahead and let you know about that stuff. But this is pretty much all you're going to need to know for the tutorial anyway, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more of my content in the future. And until next time, this has been ZDS. Thank you for following one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, everybody.